everyone, welcome to the final cut, the show that never ends. Glad you could attend. Today we're going to take a look at Lawless. Yes, now it's a story set in the Depression era during Prohibition, and we see the family, the Bondurant brothers, who have a very successful uh, bootlegging business in Franklin County, Virginia. In fact, a lot of people uh, do bootlegging in uh, Franklin County, Virginia. Well, when a new uh, deputy comes in and uh, decides to get in, he's a bit corrupt, so he wants in on this business and starts muscling on the uh, local uh, bootleggers. The Bondurant family will have none of it. Never mind also the fact that you've got the gangster organized crime scene uh, opportunity here to try to take advantage of these hill folk. And we see the Bondurants as well uh, get a bit uh, defiant with them in some points. Okay, they're, they're just holding on to their own family business, if you will. And you know, bucking the forces that be. And we see the events unfold there. What we also see unfold is the youngest Bondurant brother, who's kind of the softest of the bunch. As, and we get to see him grow as a person and a character and see him go from kind of the weak link guy to the guy trying to run the show. Folks, Lawless is great on so many levels. Okay, now I saw the trailer and I saw these people and I'm like, ah, yeah, it could be okay. And then I sat down and watched it and I just really fell in love with this film. Now, one of the things that sells it is first off the production value. You feel like you're in the Depression era. Now, granted, it is shot with new equipment and that, but you still, they sold it very well with the costuming and the cars and the overall everything about it, the settings, really felt like you took you back in that day. Now, this is based off of real events. The Bondurants were an actual group of brothers who did bootleg. It's based off of a book, I believe, written by one of the relatives. So you do have some true events in here that happen. Of course, you have some embellishment for entertainment value. Now, what is also very entertaining, though, is everybody's performance. You got Shia LaBeouf as Jack Bondurant, who is the youngest one we see grow through the film. You've also got Jason Clark in here as uh, Howard Bondurant, the kind of middle brother. And then you got Tom Hardy. Oh, man. He is brilliant in this film as Forrest Bondurant, the tough guy, the guy who has a legend who can't be killed type of legend. And he's just, oh, I loved every scene he was in. He took and just made it his own and stole his show with it. But who also stole the show is Guy Pierce as the corrupt deputy Charlie Rakes. Loved his performance as well. I mean, he just nails this creepy guy feel. I just, just the whole each character you really like or hate very well, and it doesn't take you long to get there. And that's what I liked as well. Now, this was directed by John Hillcourt, who also did The Road, which is a very decent film. And get this, the screenplay is written by Nick Cave, and Nick Cave did some of the music in there under the band name The Bootleggers, which all the music in here really reminded me a bit of Oh Brother, Where Art Thou as well. Some really great sounding music helped fit the settings and the production value. And you know, the script and dialogue is really good but everybody's performance really helps sell this film and excel it above a normal uh, bootlegging type story okay everybody's performance in here a, a matter of fact the only person who kind of gets shortchanged out of the whole thing go figure is Gary Oldman unfortunately I would have liked to see more of him as the gangster but other than that I really think this script is fun it's leading into a great fall movie season and I think you should definitely check Lawless out I gave Lawless four and a half stubs not quite five only because I would have liked to see more Gary Oldman in there but on the whole folks definitely worth your time and money and Shia LaBeouf is definitely shedding off the Transformers uh, skin and what I really loved is just when you started to see you know, our stereotypical shy, it's gone because he just he really brought some depth to his character and everybody just does great and I think you will be entertained and feel you got your money's worth and that'll about do it for us here at the final cut till next time keep the tickets done